morning, Greg. This is the Dave Ross Show, early edition. Have you all been reading up on the Goldman Sachs lawsuit and how all those deals worked? Do any of you understand any of it? Do the reporters reporting on it understand any of it? Do any of us in the normal world understand the concept of selling short or selling investments you don't actually own, which is how the winners in the Great Recession made all their money? No, we don't. For most of us in the normal world, a short sale is when Walmart announces DVD players at $99 for the next 30 minutes. But we figure that even though we might not understand this stuff, surely the sophisticated people in the investment business do, and they must be very smart indeed. We assume that when one guy can earn $500 million on a single transaction, it must be a good thing. And yet, and yet, it turns out it wasn't a good thing. But that guy still gets to keep his $500 million, and lobbyists for that guy and others like him don't want government regulations taking all the fun out of their jobs because regulations would be a job killer. It would kill the jobs where people work on incomprehensible deals with the potential to tank the economy. It makes you want to cry. Yes, you can demonize the people who took advantage of the liar loans, but hey, that's a fact of life. We're Americans. You offer us something too good to be true, we take it. But the scams also cost a lot of responsible people their jobs, their retirements, their homes. Whereas the geniuses who came up with the idea of creating and selling billions of dollars of ultimately bogus deals not only get to keep their homes, but are still rich enough to hire their own lobbyists to make sure the government can't stop them from pulling the exact same scam again. Who do we root for? Let me think. This is Dave Ross, back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM.